At the time of this installation, nearly six years ago, heat recovery VRF technology was still relatively new to the U.S. market. In fact, this facility was one of the largest and most complex installations of its kind. With over a thousand tons of connected air conditioning capacity, it still serves as one of the largest VRF installations in the United States. Each room has its own individual cassette, like the one installed here in the ceiling. So each room is independent from the other rooms that are here. So it's almost like a condominium or a hotel boat setup type of thing where you've got complete control over your space so you can heat or cool to your satisfaction. So really what is at the heart of Panasonic EcoEye Systems is our inverter-driven rotary compressor. It allows us to get industry-leading efficiency both in IER, COP, and SEHE. And it's one of the major drivers that allowed Shippensburg to gain lean certification in this job. The installation here at Shippensburg embodies many of the inherent benefits of VRF technology, which include superior energy efficiency, low sound signature, and reduced space requirements, all which are very important aspects in terms of HVAC designs for student housing facilities. When we first installed the system, we went through our standard of using our building automation system where we can, uh, we can actually look at any room there using our building automation, and we control the rooms across campus setting standards for heating and cooling. Uh, but when we were doing that with these students who were living in this new upscale resident halls, they were complained because not everyone is comfortable at 68 degrees in the winter or 74 degrees in the summer. They all have different, some people like it warmer, some like it. Two people in the same room, one of them is not, not necessarily happy. More than one in a room makes it even worse. So what we did is we took one of, the, one of these buildings and we get, put it back into full Panasonic control. We let the, the residents, the students decide what they want they could heat with anywhere within the parameter, either too very hot or very cold or in the middle. And what we found was that the energy consumption within that building was equal to or less than what it was when we tried to control it using our building automation system, just because the ability of this system to heat and cool simultaneously. And then the students were more satisfied. Even on a day like today, where it's 15 degrees outside, the indoor unit is still capable of supplying sufficient discharge air temperature to maintain room set point. The first year we were skeptical when we found out uh, we, that they can meet temperatures down to, down to zero degrees. These units are capable of scrubbing heat out of the cold air and satisfying the rooms. So that, that's pretty significant for us. We have the ability anywhere we have internet access with, an, with a phone, with an iPad, with a uh, laptop or a computer, we can actually take a look at the campus. So we can control this either on campus or off, but we can take a look at any one of these particular rooms. Um, here's room 130 is right here. So if we, get to, if we go to the first floor here, my staff will pull this up every morning. They'll look and see what these rooms are doing and go out and look at these differential colors on the thermographics and then decide whether or not they're, they're acceptable or not. So we can actually see a problem occur before the resident in the room actually knows there's a problem and get it corrected for them. So one of the things that makes EcoI great for a residential application, like a dorm here at Chippensburg, or whether it be a hotel or a senior living facility, is the great sound performance. One of the key design criteria for this project was noise. And as you can see, we're surrounded by a field of condensing units carrying on a normal human conversation at roughly 50 to 55 dB where these units typically operate. Yeah, there's no, they're right next to the buildings. We have, we've had no complaints about the noise that comes off of them at all. Nationally speaking, the student housing vertical continues to be one of our major market segments for Panasonic air conditioning technologies here in the United States. VRF is an excellent fit for this, and we've had many successful installations in various regions of the country. This project here at Shippensburg is about six years old. We've continued to innovate and bring new and exciting products to the market. Ever since our first project in the U.S., beyond 15 years ago, we have pushed the envelope and advanced air conditioning technology, and we'll continue to do so in the future. It's quite a learning curve to come up for us, for my staff to come up, because this is not traditional HVAC as we know it. It is, it is something new. Again, our, the skepticism my staff was there, ours was there, and still the system started to prove itself for what we see. But it's finding, we're finding that it's reliable, uh, it's withstanding. Would we purchase it again? I, think, I don't think there'd be any doubt that we wouldn't buy another system and install it somewhere else if we had the need. Panasonic.